Welcome to Inside the Deal. I'm Suzanne Stevens. With me today is Victor Jermak. Victor is founder and president of Rate Financials, Inc., which rates and ranks public companies based on their financial reporting. Victor, you wrote an article for The Deal News Weekly, and in it you raised questions about the health of Circuit City and, and mentioned that that's something you guys have been watching at Rate Financials sure. for a couple of years. Right. What, what were you seeing a couple of years ago with Circuit City that concerned you? Well, what we found, Suzanne, was that the earnings were being generated primarily from sales of extended warranties, not from sales of products in their continuing business. And that did not bode well for the future health and longevity of Circuit City. Absolutely. Why, it, weren't, why, why wasn't that an issue? Why weren't people talking about it two years ago? I think people just don't, and including the analysts, just don't dig into the quality of the earnings or the accounting. And that's our beat. You mentioned in your, in your column for the deal that you've uncovered numerous examples of what you call aggressive accounting. Correct. Um, can you give me a couple of examples? And, and does aggressive accounting mean uh, illegal reporting? No, but it stretches the limits. For instance, several years ago, we found a company, what I call the, uh, the brother of uh, Enron, a company called Calpine, also in power generation. It was a major bankruptcy. And we got to it a year and a half we gave it very low ratings. We found the business model just didn't make any sense. We found aggressive accounting and how they accounted for revenue and costs. And we came out with a report. And some of the people at the time dismissed it, just as in Circuit City. Um, a number of people dismissed it. They thought, oh, that's not important. But it really was important. Well, when you're talking about aggressive accounting and some of these examples that you're giving, right. I mean, it's going to make a lot of people, investors in particular, right. pretty nervous. Right. Didn't we deal with this post-Enron? I mean, didn't the uh, overhaul right. of accounting right. practice, wasn't it meant to address this very issue? Some issues were addressed. Uh, they nibbled on the edges. They really didn't go to the heart of the problem. Was if you don't have control of those, of those assets or liabilities, that's fine. It shouldn't be consolidated. But if you do, and if there's lingering obligations and liabilities, it has to be recorded. And today, for the sake of argument, a perfect example is uh, Citibank. Okay, Citibank has $2.1 trillion on balance sheet, $1.3 trillion off balance sheet in these variable interest entities. So is this going to be dealt with? The problem is that gap is very complex, okay? It's very detailed, leaves lots of judgments to companies to make, and how the companies make them is a true test of how good their accounting is. So, Victor, we are in a recession. There's right. a lot for this administration to be dealing with. How optimistic are you that accounting rules are going to make it onto the agenda anytime soon? Um, I'm somewhat skeptical. I share with you and some of the feelings of the market that these are things that's going to be swept under the rug. I hope it isn't. I hope the, uh, the head of the SEC, Chairman Shapiro, will take the bull by the horns, will really begin to deal with these issues. They're very vast issues, they're very detailed issues, and also they want to make a, they want to move to the international standards, okay? Well, how can you move to the international standards if we're already gaming very rules-based system and now they want to move to a principles-based system? It's a mistake to move so fast. Right. A lot to consider at a one time. A lot to consider, considering where we are today with our fiscal crisis. Victor Jermak with Rate Financials, Inc. Thanks so much for coming by. Thank you very much. I'm Suzanne Stevens. Thanks for watching Inside the Deal.